10 tips and tricks for beginners and Premiere Pro. Number 10, resetting track heights. If you hold shift and press the plus key, this will expand all the tracks in the timeline. If you hold shift and press the minus key, this will minimize all tracks in the timeline. But whenever you are adjusting the track heights in the timeline, and you want to reset the track height for your video or audio track to the default size, all you have to do is double click on the track and it will expand the track first, then double click on it again to reset the track height to the default size in the timeline. Number nine, Razor Tool versus Add Edit. The Razor Tool in Premiere Pro is a tool that will allow you to make cuts to the audio and video portions of a clip in a timeline. You can activate the Razor tool by pressing the keyboard shortcut C, and this shortcut works for both Mac and Windows computer. Go to the section of the clip that you want to cut and simply click on it to make your cut. As you can see, this will only cut the piece of the clip that you click on. To make a cut to all the video and audio portions of the clip, hold shift while using the Razor tool to cut through all of your clips. Another option to make cuts in your timeline is using the add edit function. This will only make a cut to the tracks you have selected wherever your playhead is in the timeline. Press command K on a Mac or control K on the Windows computer to use the add edit function and this will make a cut through all of the tracks that you have selected in the timeline. So if I have V2 turned off, it will not make a cut to it. To make a cut to all the tracks in the timeline, Press Shift Command K on a Mac or Shift Control K on a Windows computer to add edit to all the tracks in the timeline. Number eight, duplicating clips in the timeline. To duplicate a clip in a timeline, click on a clip that you want to duplicate and hold down the Option key on a Mac or the Alt key on the Windows computer and click and drag the clip to make a duplicate of it. You can drag it away horizontally to have the clip on the same video track or drag it away vertically to have it duplicated on another track. Number seven, time code window. To go to the time code window, go to the window tab and click on time code. The time code window will appear and this will let you know where you currently are in the timeline, the duration of your entire sequence and the duration of your in and out points in the timeline. Number six, Enabling and disabling clips. To disable a clip in a timeline, right click on the clip and press enable, or use the keyboard shortcut Shift Command E on the Mac or Shift E on the Windows computer. This will hide your video clip in a timeline and to bring it back or enable the clip, click on the clip and press enable or use Shift Command E on the Mac or Shift E on the Windows computer again. I mainly use this to see if certain shots work without having to delete them from my timeline. Number five, adding multiple transitions at once. Go to the window tab and press effect or use the keyboard shortcut shift seven. In the effects panel, go to the search bar and type in dip to black. Select the dip to black transition and drag and drop it to the edit point between your two clips. If you hover over the corners of your transition, you can adjust the timing of your transition. Make sure the transition is selected and press Command C on the Mac or Control C on the Windows computer to copy the transition. Then hold Command on the Mac or hold Control on the Windows computer and drag your cursor over your clips to highlight them. All of your edits will turn red, then press Command V on a Mac or Control V on the Windows computer to paste the transition to all of your clips. Number four, removing duplicate files in your project. To remove duplicate files, go to the edit tab and select consolidate duplicates. This will remove all of the duplicate files in your project. And to make sure you don't import duplicate files, go to the Premiere Pro tab, go to settings, media, and make sure allow duplicate media during project import is disabled and press OK. Number three, how to swap clips. I have four clips here in the timeline, and let's say you want to make the third clip in the timeline your second clip. Instead of moving the third clip up a track and move the second clip over to the right and then drag the third clip over to the left, all you have to do is select the third shot 
and hold command option on a Mac or control alt on a Windows computer. And this will swap the clips. Number two, adding clips from another sequence. If you have clips in the timeline that you want to add to another sequence, go to the sequence you want to add the clips to and either double click on it or right click and press open in timeline. Then go back to the original sequence that has the clips and then lasso over the clips or use the track select forward tool, which is the keyboard shortcut A to select the clips. Press V to go back to the selection tool and then drag the clips to the other timeline and it will automatically bring up the other timeline and then drag it to where you want it to go in the timeline and release it. Number one, matching audio levels on multiple clips. Highlight the audio portion of the clips you want to level out by clicking and dragging over them. Then go to the Windows tab and click on Essential Sound. Make sure you're in the Edit tab of the Essential Sound panel and click on Dialog. Then go to the Loudness section and make sure the Loudness section has a check mark next to it. And then click on Auto Match, which will automatically match the clips to a standard average loudness for dialog across your multiple clips. And for a bonus tip, try our new Premiere Pro template. Our Premiere Pro Digital Content Creator template is an essential template that empowers users with a seamless editing experience. Our pre-built sequences and export settings are designed for content creators aspiring to produce captivating videos for YouTube, Vimeo, Rumble, Twitch, and beyond. Get 50% off the Premiere Pro Digital Content Creator template now for a limited time. Use promo code SSC50. The link to our website is in the description below. I also want to give a shout out to EditStock as the footage in today's tutorial is provided by EditStock.